so few places left in South Florida, even in the Everglades, where you feel like you're in a remote area, uh, abundant wildlife. We're so blessed to have this national park, but the national park, you know, is under stress. And we can fix this. Cape Sable is a peninsula that juts out into the Gulf of Mexico in the very southwestern portion of Florida. It is not only one of the most beautiful, but important areas of Everglades National Park just because of all the different wildlife species that are so dependent on it. Cape Sable is really sustaining the majority of the nesting wading birds that we have in the Florida Bay region, such as the roseate spoonbill, reddish egret, great white heron, tricolored herons, little blue herons. The interior marshes of Cape Sable are home to the largest wintering population of shorebirds in North America. And the marshes are particularly important for the juvenile crocodiles, which are dependent on a lower salinity brackish water environment. It's where we find the prey-based fish community that is sustaining the number of economically important game fish species that are supporting our fishing industry in this area as well. The Flamingo Ridge is a natural barrier to saltwater intrusion. It's only two, three feet in elevation. It was created over thousands of years due to the buildup of sediment. When it was dredged, all of these canals were relatively small, about 15 feet wide. The Middle Cape Canal now is over 500 feet wide, and that is the result of tidal forces eroding these sandy shorelines away. Uh, this was a fresh brackish water habitat, much more open, excellent foraging habitat for wading birds. But it's filling in now. Uh, subsequently, the mangroves are growing in here and we're losing uh, essential foraging habitat. So we know that it's possible to restore the interior wetlands of Cape Sable and reestablish Flamingo Ridge. The Flamingo Ridge is so important because it has for hundreds of years acted as the natural barrier to saltwater flow into these fresh brackish water marshes. And you know, we've damaged that ridge by digging these canals through them. You know, we're losing so much wonderful habitat and there's really only one solution is to reestablish the Flamingo Ridge by creating new dams. So reestablishing the Flamingo Ridge that could go so far in revitalizing this wonderful ecosystem we have here.